guys, what is up? It is Nick. Let's go over the new legends that were released. Uh, obviously, you guys saw the Game Changer bundle, which we pulled one of the legends. If you haven't seen that, uh, go check it out. I won't ruin it yet, uh, but go check that out if you hadn't seen it. But we do have the Game Changer packs if you want to rip those. We also have this new Elite Legend pack. I'm not sure why on earth you would pull this, but go for it if you have 10 bucks to blow. Uh, this limited time offer is packed with one Legend player, good for 10 or more games. 10 or more games. So you could get a dud at like 10. I, I don't know what or more games means. How many games does this go up to? Like, can I get like a 50 game? I don't know. One Legend collectible, which I'm assuming the Legend collectible can be auctioned. Uh, one Elite player cannot be auctioned or traded. Also includes one gold, one silver, and one bronze plus four team items. Not really sure why you would do that, but... Hey, if you want to, go for it. I need to actually go ahead and throw one of these. I need to throw this this collectible up on the trade block so that I can do this video. So let's throw that up on the trade block. Okay. So now we can get into this video. So head into sets first here, and then we'll take a look at the 48-hour players. Uh, so we've got the Legend sets. We've got the Sam Madison and Kevin Mawai. Uh... Sets, 91 overall for Kevin and 90 overall for Sam. And the Sam Madison is an absolute monster. I'll show you the 48 hour, which is the one I pulled. You know, if you didn't go look at that video and you want me to ruin it, well, it's ruined now. But 75,000 coins for his 80 overall. And then we have his collectibles. Like always, you need 10 of the collectibles. And they are currently going for 10k. So you could get him done for 175k. Not actually a bad price for his stats. Not not horrible. I might actually look into trying to snipe some of these collectibles. I don't know. I don't know why I'd want to get the regular version unless I can play the regular. I bet I can play the regular and the 48 hour together at the same time. That would just be OP. These cards are so good. Uh, the Kevin Moy, 81 overall. He is currently going for 69k. Pretty much 70k. Going for 70k will make it easy math on me. And his collectibles are going... So he you can get them done for about 150k, 160, 170 max to get the uh, Kevin Y done. That's not actually that bad of prices. I might actually... Eh, no. I was going to say I might mess around and try to get these collectibles for like under 60k. If I could get them all 10 for under 60k... And I could get the Kevin Y for like 130. I may actually be able to make coins on the set, but I think that's a little bit too much. I'm not sure I want to sit here and have to snipe nine collectibles. Uh, so let's go take a look at these bad boys on the auction house. We'll start with the Kevin Y, and then we'll move the Sam Madison. I'm happy I pulled the Sam Madison over the Kevin Y for the uh, 48 hour because I actually think I might want to keep the Sam Madison. Uh, I don't think I would have wanted to keep the Kevin Y in all honesty, so I am pretty happy that I was able to pull the one that I wanted. Now, to be honest, I would have rather pulled the Dak Prescott, just because I would have wanted to use that Dak Prescott, but I am not going to complain about getting this, Ke this not Kevin White, the uh, Sam Madison. So, okay, there are only 48-hour Kevin Wise up. There is no regular, but I think the... 48 hours just add an extra chemistry i believe so the stats aren't any different so let's go over these uh 89 strength 92 run block 88 pass block 93 impact blocking 92 awareness 88 stamina 65 speed and 61 agility not a half bad not a half bad uh stats on this guy i don't think there's anything else we really need to look at i think all the important stuff stamina 88 and injury 90 that's kind of important so not a bad card, but I'm not sure I'd pay 226k. The 48 hour is actually pretty cheap if you think about how much the regular one is. I feel like for 50k I'd buy the 48 hour. At least I have something limited, and I have I just like the 48 hour. I just like limited cards. I don't know. So I would get the 48 hour at this point because it's only 50k more. So I don't see a point in not getting the 48 hour unless you only have 170k. Which if you only have 170k and you're buying Kevin Wa with your 170k, I don't know why you'd be doing that. So not a half bad price. Now let's go look at the guy that I pulled. And that is 
Sam Madison. So there's one regular one up for 330k. That's the cheapest one of that. And the 48 hour is now up for 390. I gave up trying to sell mine. I might just keep it because I I can't I don't want to sit here all day and just check. Oh my gosh, it went down 10k. I gotta repost it because on Mutthead, let me take a peek here. One actually sold for 560k. I don't know what console that was on. Uh, one sold for 406, and one's and then the rest are selling for like 300k. So I don't really think I want to sell mine for 300k. I might just hold on to them and use them at this point because I don't feel like honestly I don't feel like sitting here and reposting it all day. But let's go ahead and take a look at his stats. We took a little bit of a look in the pack opening, but here they are again. Uh, 89 speed, 91 acceleration, 86 agility, 90 man, 92 zone, 88 press, 90 play rack, and 75 catching. Let's see. Any other important stats in here? 88 jumping, that's nice. Uh, spin and juke move aren't bad, not too important though. 88 pursuit, pretty good there. Good stamina, good spec catch at 71. 65 catching traffic, 64 hit power, not great, but not horrible. Uh, but that is your Sam Madison. Let's go and take a look real quick at, uh, let's see if any of the other, I don't know why I backed out of the auction house. Let me see if any of the other legends came down in price uh, with the, with the, um, these game changer pack bundles out that give three collectibles. So the champ Bailey has come down about 12 K. We're just going to reset this and see these guys have held the same. Larry Wilson came down about 5 K. Nitschke came down about 11 K. I don't know what LA's price was. Uh, lawyer Malloy is about the same price. So it's curse. Dallas Clark came down just a little bit. Emmett came down, Emmett came down about 13k from last night. Shockey about the, Shockey went up a little bit, and so did Charles Haley. Let me see if that's the only Haley up. I might actually try to do that Haley collection. No, okay, no, he didn't go up. He's about the same price, around 100k. 48 hour. See, that's how it should be. The 48 hour is about double the price of the regular one. That's how it should end up being for pretty much all of these legends. But guys, that's going to do it. That is the new legends. I hope you all enjoyed. Check back later. I'll have more videos up. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.